What up, what up? Welcome to another Takeoff Tuesday, baby. If you didn't start Monday off the way you wanted to, today is the day to start your week off with a bang. Are you listening? Take off Tuesday, guys. You see the title. No need for me to, no need for me to even go into this one, right? But peep this, guys. I ain't gonna lie. When I was a kid, I hated bumblebees and I hated bees. Why? Because one day I was riding my bike. I was riding my bike, just minding my business. And as I'm riding my bike, you know, I guess a bee came and stung me in my shoulder. Now I was a kid, so it stung me in my shoulder, and I fell off my bike. And then, you know, and and I was I was crying, but I was trying not to cry really because like my my sisters was watching and they was laughing. And I didn't want them to think I was a little punk, right? So I got so by that at that time after that after I got stung by a bee, I really hated bees. But now I'm really starting to love bees. You may say, why in the world are you starting to love bees, Terrell? Simple guys. I was I was listening I was listening to one of the OGs, Les Brown. He's one of the most famous mo motivational speakers in the world. Les Brown guy. And he was talking about bumblebees and how back then scientists didn't understand how bumblebees were actually flying. Are you listening? They didn't understand how bumblebees were actually flying. Why? Because bumblebee because I guess the wings were too like the body the bees the bees body mass like the the wings were too small for the bees body mass. Let's put it that way. Like so scientists couldn't understand how a bumblebee or bee was flying. Like they tripping out. They like how in the world is a bee flying? Like the wings are this small, his body is like way bigger. There's no way in the world these wings should be flying this a bumblebee or a bee in general. How is it happening? How is it happening? How is it happening? And peep this guys, they finally figured it. They finally figured it out. But that but this is the part that really gets me. Through all that, right? Through all that, through all the scientists, right, and uh, and all the people who study physics and all the gurus in science, while they were all debating, saying, uh, talking about how a bee or bumblebee shouldn't be able to fly, the thing that got me the most was that after all the critics were talking about how the bee shouldn't be able to fly, the bumblebee still woke up every morning and flapped them wings anyway. Are you listening to what I'm telling you? Do all that. The bumblebee, the bumblebee didn't listen to the scientists. The bumblebee didn't listen to the haters. The bumblebee didn't listen to the critics. The bumblebee didn't listen to the people who said it was impossible. The bumblebee, all the bumblebee knew was to wake up and flap the wings because if he didn't flap the wings, he ain't gonna get to that honeycomb. <laughs> Are you listening? He, you, the bumblebee ain't gonna get to that honeycomb. It ain't gonna get to that honey. So if it don't flap his wings, it ain't gonna eat. If it don't flap his wings, it ain't gonna survive. If it don't flap his wings, Are you, are, you, are you listening to what I'm telling you? If it doesn't flap its wings, it ain't going to get what it's trying to get. So it didn't think about the outside haters. It didn't think about what the scientists had to say. It didn't think about the critics. All, it, all the bumblebee and the bees thought was that I got to wake up every single morning and flap my wings. Because if I don't fly, I don't eat. And the reason why, the reason why I even, I even brought that story up is because a lot of you guys, you, 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 a lot of you guys, you like the bumblebee, but you're different from the bumblebee. Like, you, you want to flap your wings, but you can't flap your wings because you're listening to all the outside haters. You're listening to the critics. You're listening to your mama saying that what you're doing on YouTube is stupid. You're listening to your daddy that's saying that, oh, you're trying to be an entrepreneur. It's stupid. You need to go to school and be an accountant when you know that's not what you're really passionate about. You're listening to your family. You're listening to your critics. You're listening to your friends. You're listening to your haters. You're listening. You're taking all their assumptions and opinions in and you care about their opinions so much that you never flap your wings that you never chase your dreams and because that and because you're not flapping your wings you ain't gonna get to your honey because you ain't flapping your wings you ain't gonna get to your dream because you're not waking up taking action because you're so hindered and distraught about what your critics and outsiders are saying you never do anything you become fearful, you become scared because you don't want to disappoint anybody else. Peep this, guys. I love my mom, I love my dad, I love my friends, I love my haters, I love my critics. But honestly, guys, I really don't give a crap. Like, and I'm not being disrespectful, I don't give a crap about what they think. Are you listening? Like, why? Because I know what makes me go. 
bad and bougie. I, I don't know where that came from. But seriously, guys, I know what makes me go. And what makes me go is speaking. What makes me go is this. This is the only thing that I'm really passionate about. I'm not passionate about turning in a, a five million word essay to a professor. Like, I'm not, I'm not passionate about that. I'm not passionate about, uh, I don't know, certain sports. I, lo I like sports. But, but I'm not passionate about it. This is the only thing that wakes me up. This is the only thing I think about every single day. This is the only things that gives. This is the only thing that gives me energy. That gets me going. Like I have to have this. I gotta have it. And because I gotta have it, because I know this is the thing that makes me go. I'm not gonna let anybody. I'm not gonna let anybody's assumptions or opinions stop me from achieving my dreams, which is speaking and helping people all around the world. I'm not going to let anybody stop it. Are you listening to me? I'm not going to let anybody stop it. Because like I said, I know what makes me go. You know what makes you go. And you need to stop listening to the haters. Stop listening to the critics. Stop listening to your parents. Even though, yes, I know you love them, right? But you got to, in order for you to grow, in order for you to get closer to your dream, in order for you to flap your wings, like you got to stop listening to the outsiders. Right? You be gotta you gotta become like the bumblebee and stop listening and just flap your wings and just go after it. Because the moment that you just stop listening to the haters and go after it, that's when you're gonna get closer and closer and closer and closer and closer to your dream. And I guarantee you, once you achieve your dream, that's when all the haters gonna shut up. Are you listening? Thank you guys for tuning in to another Takeoff Tuesday video, man. I gotta get out of here because I started sweating, man. If you like what you saw, please like the video. Please share the video. Please comment on the video. And most importantly, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this. I love you guys. Peace out, man. Stop listening to them haters. And let's go eat. Let's go get our honey, baby.